Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So in this episode, what we're going to do, if you're using the template, we're going to work on the authors page right here. So we're going to get all this information from the database. And if we click on this, we need to go to their respective profiles. Right, so we finished up actually allowing the authors to actually update their social medias right here. So if they don't have one, we want to actually not display it right here. Okay, so anyway, that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So let's get started. All right, let's start off with the first thing. If we need to seed the database with authors, I want to seed it actually with that profile image. So let's go to public images. The authors, you will see author one, two, three, and four. So if you're using the template, you will have this. Just copy all of them. Okay, just copy that. And then we're going to go to storage, pub, app, public, and profile photos, and just paste them in there, right there. Okay, so we got that all done because remember, we've got a storage link. So under public, storage, we've got a profiles right there. So we've got the link right there okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the cedars the user table cedar all right then for the writers okay so just make sure for if you have all four of them just paste basically the profile path of that image like michelle jones i put the profile path let me just give it some room here so i don't confuse anybody okay so for Michelle Jones, I put a profile path to that image. And for Jane Doe, I put her profile image. For David Brogue, I put his profile image. And for John Gray, his profile image. Just like that, okay? Just the path to that image. Like this, okay? Right, so the next thing is obviously to migrate and seed our database. But before you do that, just make sure under your event service provider, you turn off the tag observer and the post observer. Otherwise, you're going to run into an infinite loop. Okay, so just stop that one. Okay, so just comment them out then seed the database. Okay, so PHP artisan migrate fresh. And this dash C. Okay, so let's just do it like this. Okay, so now we finished with that. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to be able to go to our controller where we can actually show all the authors. All right, if you're using the template, you're going to go to app, HTTP, controllers, pages, you will see we have for author controller right there okay so with the index page and we're going to have a show we're going to get to the show in the next episode where we're going to get the author and get all the posts of that author but for now we just don't want to display all the authors okay so there we just return a view pages authors.index so what we want to do is we want to pass along all the authors to that page okay so let's just get all the authors all right and what we want to do is we want to bring in the user all right where okay the type is equal to the user's writer we want to get that and then we just can press get so basically what this does is we'll get the user where the type is a writer right there and then we're just going to get the authors all right so the next thing we're going to do is we need to go to that view so to get to that views under resources views pages authors dot index this one right here okay the one that we just seen right now okay so what are we going to do is we're gonna loop over all the authors and just display their profiles okay so let's do that all right so if you're using the template there is four right there and we want to delete three and only leave one because we're going to loop over just the one so i'm just going to delete all three and i'm just going to leave the one okay and then going to do now is we're going to do a for each loop and we're going to loop over all the authors as author all right and then we put that div in there Okay, but we're going to change 
this to an anchor tag very soon. All right, so let's start off with the image. Let me just actually call this one profile image. Okay, so that if someone have to look at the code, they can easily see it right there. All right, so the asset to get to the image, what we do is we're just going to get the author. Okay, let me just actually do this. We're just going to get the author. Let me just remove that right there. So we're going to get the author and we're just going to go to their profile photo URL. Right, so that's one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the author's name. So let me just put it in here. So this is the author's name. Right, we call on that property. The next one, this is the bio for the author. But the thing is, I want to create a excerpt for the profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to update our user model. When we call on that, it's actually going to get the profile and an excerpt of that profile. So let's quickly do that. So let's open up our user model. So in here, right here, I'm just going to add a new one. Let me just call this one social. All right, so let's start off with the first. I'm going to create a public function and I'm going to call this one bio profile. Right, and what we're going to do is we're going to return this profile. We're going to call on that has one profile of that user and we just want to get their bio. Okay, so the bio, remember, are created. Let's just quickly open our profile model. So in our profile model, I, we created uh, public methods that return their properties. Okay, so that's what I'm calling on right here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another one. And this one will be the bio profile excerpt. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to return a string limit. And we're just going to use this profile. Okay. So this the bio profile. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to limit that to that limit. Let me just do this. And by default, I'm going to set the limit to 80. Like this. Okay. So let's do those four more, but we're going to do that for a Facebook profile, Twitter profile, and in the rest. So public function, uh, Facebook profile okay so we will call on this method so we're just going to return this profile and facebook the method All right so i'm just going to do that for the rest as well Okay, so we got, we're going to say the author's Facebook profile, the author's Twitter profile, Instagram. It just kind of read quite nice. Okay, so instead of just calling this whole thing like this. Okay, so let's go to the view right there. So instead of just the lorem ipsum, we're just going to get the author. And we just want to get their bio profile excerpt. So bio profile excerpt. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we need to allow the, if they click on any of these links, they need to be able to go to their respective social profiles. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to write for if statements for all of them. So if this profile is available, it needs to be displayed right there. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So let's start off with the first one. This is for Facebook. So if, okay, so if it's not empty, Okay, so we're going to write an empty statement. So we're just going to get the authors, not this, the authors Facebook profile. Okay, so if this is not empty, so that's basically what that is. So we're just going to do an end if. And then we're just going to go to basically a link to that user's link. Okay, so. If it's not empty, displayed right there. So we're just going to get to the author Facebook profile. I'm just going to copy this 
Okay, the next thing we want to do is we if they click on the link, we don't want our page to refresh, okay, so that our page changes into Facebook. We want to leave the user on our page, but they need to go on a new tab to that link, okay? So we, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a target, and we're going to set that to blank. So what that will do is we'll, we'll just send the user to a new page. Okay, so all awesome stuff. So I'm just going to do that for the same as well. All right, so if it's not empty, the Facebook profile, if it's not empty, the Twitter profile, Instagram profile, or no, LinkedIn profile right there. So let's quickly see if we can view the author's page. All right, so as you can see, the data is coming from the database. So if we hover over the link, you can see they can actually go to their respective links right there. We want to make this clickable, all right? So this whole tab right here. So if they click the link, they need to, to go to this author single page with all their posts, which we're gonna work on the next episode. So let's quickly create that link right there. All right, so what I'm going to do between the two divs, I'm just going to add an anchor tag. And the route we're going to go to is authors.show. Right, this one right here. And we're going to pass in the author. We're just going to update our route in a second. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it underneath, just above the actually the ending div right there. Okay, so now everything is in the anchor tag. So let's quickly update our web route. So let's go there for our authors. So as you can see, we got this hard coded right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just put a forward slash. So as you can see, this is the authors. Just remember, this is gonna to go to the authors. So that's why right there. But what we want to do right now is we want to put in the user and we just wanna put their name. Right, so what we can as well do, instead of doing this, we can add the default in the user's model. We can add the get route key name and we can change it by default to use the name. But for us, we can just leave it as such. Right, so in our author controller right here, we're gonna expect to get that user like this. Okay, so we're gonna route model bind it to that. So that's what we're going to use to get all this user's post right there okay so let's quickly see what we're going to do so basically the round will be authors forward slash the end the user name right there okay so let's go right since we updated this round what we need to do now is in our navigation we need to remove that author single one right there because it's going to expect to have this parameters which it doesn't have so let's quickly delete it so let's go to our nav Right, so if you're using the template, you will see the author single right here. We're going to delete it because it's going to expect an author right there. So I'm just going to delete this one. Okay, just like that. All right, so let's quickly see if everything works now. All right, so if I click on any of them, so let's go to John Gray. Remember, we haven't worked on this page. So as you can see right there, we get to that author's page right here. I don't like the URL of that user. So I think I have to update that uh, because there's some spaces between the names. So that's not a good thing. So, so what I'm going to do, if you want to, you can leave it just the number of that user. So basically the ID. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a slug on my own at the background in order because I don't like when there's spaces between the URLs like that. And that's not a good thing. All right, so I'm just gonna create a slug for all the users and stuff like that, okay? So that's it for this episode, guys. So what we're going to do on the next episode is gonna be, be working on this page and get all the authors, basically their profile image, all their links, how many posts they have, and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna end display the post right here and we're gonna paginate it right here. All right, so anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section. Then after we finish with this, we're going to start working on our billing for Stripe. All right. So thank you, guys, and see you in the next one. Adios.